All right, let's make Sony mad. Nah, who am I kidding? They probably could care less about all this. Greetings, fellow Vita fans. This is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m. Coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions down below. Okay, so we're just about in April now, depending on when I decide to upload this video. Indecisiveness, it's the story of my life. So let's talk about some new stuff and developments that have been developing when it comes to homebrew. And let's just go. First up is a brand new visual novel available for the Vita titled Kohana. Uh, why am I getting Inuyasha vibes from this game? So what the heck is a Kohana? Well, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. Let's find out. Sounds like something dirty. Kohana, a Japanese confection store in a world where humans and yokai live together in harmony. Ren, the young confection maker and the owner of the store, has been continuously attacked by fox-shaped shadows. He knows the perpetrator, yet did nothing to stop them. I.e., he's useless. Once the store guardian has enough and swears that he will eliminate the attacker, Ren has to do whatever it takes to stop the bloodshed between the two people he holds dear, even if it costs him his own life. Why he never did that in the first place, we may never know. Hmm, a confection store, eh? That's not very Inuyasha-like, but it's available now. So, considering how popular this video game is, I'm kinda surprised it took this long for the Vita to get uh, something like it. And I got two words for y'all. Candy Crush. Not sure if I should be excited or terrified about this news. Yep, this is a Candy Crush clone called Everybody's Bubbles because that makes it different. No, seriously, that's how copyright works. Everybody's Bubbles is a port of an open source Chinese game inspired by Candy Crush, available for the Android and iOS, I think we're probably all aware of this at this point, where you have to make the highest score possible in 60 seconds by tapping bubbles with the same colors in a group of three or more. And hey, the PS Vita can always use more puzzle games, so I'm completely down with this. And thus, if you always wanted a Chinese bootleg version of Candy Crush, your wish has been granted. Though I do have to wonder, Everybody's Bubbles is what the game is called. Is that supposed to be a play on from everybody's golf, you know, what Hot Shots Golf is called outside of North America? Am I wearing a tinfoil hat here? Or is there something to this? I think I'm going crazy. Let's just move on to the next game. Okay, I got a pretty exciting update here from Silver Falls. You may remember them as that game developer that was working on Wii U and 3DS titles. Hats off to this individual for supporting legacy systems unlike some big corporations, but also want to bring over something to the PS Vita via homebrew. And they got in contact with me and told me that the following gameplay that you're seeing right now is in the vein of what they want to bring over to the PS Vita. This isn't PS Vita footage though, just to be clear. It's just a sample and a taste of what they have in store for us, and thus is tempting me to lick my screen. As a huge survival horror fan who just loves to wet his pants whenever he sees a ghost, still waiting for that moment, I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally be able to taste this game on the PS Vita. If you could taste games, which I'm assuming you can't, but if you could, I'd want to taste this. So thank you so much Silver Falls, and you're doing a great job. Can't wait to see a game similar to this running on the PS Vita someday. Oh, and speaking of update, we have another update for The Four of Us Are Dying. Or maybe it's The Three of Us Are Dying now because this is an update. I don't know what that means, but here's what the update is. And according to the user, Norad Ninja, they've got some of the basic AI down now, as you can see. Plus, they also have currently got themselves an Elgato. I said that weird, I know. So they'll be able to capture the video footage now in much better quality, again, as you can see right here. And, uh, yeah, that's basically the update. I'll have a link down to their YouTube channel down in the description. Seems like it wouldn't be a regular homebrew video if we weren't talking about the four of us are dying. Wow, oh, that's really dark. Been a while since I've talked about Crazy Taxi, so I guess I'll talk about Crazy Taxi now. Apparently that's how I choose my topics. There is a new version 0.1.1 update for the game. I think that was even harder for me to say than Elgato. Now what does this update exactly do? Well, it's gonna make you hungry. But also, it reduces the rendering for the CPU workload, fixes the music volume from being too loud, improves sound handling, now sounds playing too long or repeating should be less frequent, restored cut texture content such as Pizza Hut, KFC, and the like. I'm happy about that update. Restored cut modeling content, which again, coexists to the same thing. Restored cut content destinations. Restored cut voice line contents, again from Pizza Hut and the like. This is a very Pizza Hut eccentric episode, I think. Added joystick vibration support for the PSTV. Again, loving it. And of course, as you would expect from updates, it fixes various bugs. But mostly it has fried chicken. So if you couldn't get enough crazy taxi, you'll be happy to know that all of these have been addressed. Why do I feel like I'm in the mood for stuff crust now? 
And now for some of the big news here. It looks like Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy is going to be a thing on the Vita, according to Rin, the most awesomest person ever when it comes to PS Vita homebrew. Actually, everyone's awesome. I just can't choose a favorite. But Rin is awesome. And this is what his tweet had to say. Got in-game. However, performance are even lower than I expected. We'll see if I can get somewhere. At worst, vanilla open JK could be ported using this as a base. And maybe it will run better. So even if he can't get it 100% running, he still will get a version of it running. And really, we can't ask for anything better than that now, can we? And I'm sure many of you all will be intrigued to find out that Rin did actually stream some of this Vita gameplay footage from what he has so far on his official Twitch account, something I know nothing about, which I will have linked down in the video description. Well, I don't know about you all, but I'm definitely hungry for pizza, so I think I'm gonna go get some. But in the meantime, while I am going to get my Italian treat with some fried chicken to wash it down, wait, what? I would like to ask you all, what did you think of this video? What games are you excited for the most about? Pretty sure everybody's gonna say that Candy Crush clone and not Star Wars Jedi Academy. That's just my theory anyway. But anyway, tell me down below. And as always, follow Vita fans. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all. And I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a big thank you goes out to Chris Foxhound, Sabin Fire, Robert Sylvester, Aridri, No Good, Lacerated87, Jamie, Hector Gonzalez, Kayonko, Burzin Mystery, Juan M. Hermesio, Eric DeWitt, Tasha Monti, Mazgus, Matt Hargit, Buzz Saiyan, Rizal Pliskin, 1488 Dental, Azumara, Nintendo Switch at 2AM, Donut Valley, Ricardo Martinez, Dr. Super Artie, Makis Blob, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Reiko Star, Neo Rashi, Milk Sama, Bushin Ryu Cat, Zakrito, Alan Iwazu, Shin Snake, Meshuga360, Gutter Drums, Hemdal Imber, Wendy K, David Ray, Phantom XRS, Saul Ramirez, Kyle Brooks, JR, Silica, Per Sterner, Adam Thury, Skullshire Tugel TCG, BMF, Claimer Malarkey, BG Legends, Jared Hado, Kevin Enright, Heston Joseph, Crazy Cat, Rodrigo Vera, Hero Acer, Adam Sondi, PS Vita S, Richard Cruz, Joseph Shavak, Jale, H Hitter, and Michael O'Connor. And a special thank you to Jun Chen for the recent PayPal donation. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too. Make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and PlayAsia for anyone who is interested in purchasing something from their website. They have a variety of PS Vita items, as well as some other things you might find interesting. And there's there's also channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. Yep, I'm getting more and more hungry by the minute. For some reason, I feel like eating a pizza now with colored bubbles on top of it served with candy that's crushed. I'm sure that has nothing at all to do with the video, am I right? Nah, you're just weird.